Hello all, and welcome to KMT. Is your MacBook running really slow? Do you keep seeing the spinning wheel? Or does your Mac just freeze? In this video, we discuss why your MacBook may be freezing and running slow, and how you can get it to speed up. Reason number one, the basics. How long has it been since you last restarted your MacBook? We all know it's easy to simply close the lid and let your MacBook sleep, and just flip it open and start using it again. Give your MacBook a restart every once in a while to make sure all the processes get terminated. Also, bonus tip. Remember, when you're done using an application, make sure you hit Command and Q to quit application completely. Else, it's still running in the background. Reason number two, misbehaving applications. Some apps put a significant load on the CPU. Some apps may be doing this by default, or they may be misbehaving, and this can cause your MacBook to run hot. To check, go to the Finder, click Applications, and then click Utilities. Then start Activity Monitor. In the Activity Monitor app, Click the CPU tab to see which apps are using a high percentage of the CPU's available resources. If you see something taking up the CPU and you don't need to use it, close that program. Reason number three, running low on disk space. If your MacBook doesn't have enough free space, it may start to run sluggish. Most of the time, your MacBook would send you notifications and advise you that you're running out of space, but it's always a good idea to check for yourself. Use the following steps. Step number one, open the Apple menu and select About This Mac. And step number two, click the storage tab in the toolbar to see how much space you have available. On older versions of OS X, click the More Info button, then click Storage. This will provide a simplified overview of what sort of files are eating up your storage space. And based on this info, you could decide you have some old files or some applications you no longer need and delete them to make space. Or you could look into purchasing a hard drive or even SSD with more space. Reason number four, reset the PRAM. The PRAM holds memory of certain settings even when the MacBook is powered off. Try resetting the PRAM by doing the following. Hold down, command, Option or Alt, P and R, and turn on the Mac. Keep holding the keys until you hear the Mac restart again. Listen for a second reboot, and then release the keys. Reason number five, reset the SMC. SMC stands for System Management Controller. Let's try resetting the SMC by shutting down the MacBook, and then unplugging and then reconnecting the power cable. Press Shift, Control, and Option or Alt keys, and the power button at the same time. Now release all those keys and the power button at the same time. You may see the light on the power cable flicker. And now restart your MacBook. Thank you for watching KMT. If this video helped you out, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below.